Hey, what's up, Zach here. And tonight I've got the play test and performance review of the all new prime green Adidas Barricade. Now the Barricade is one of the most storied tennis shoes in the modern era. And for good reason, think about how many matches all the way from amateur to professional that have been won on the footbed of a Barricade tennis shoe. And now after three years, we're finally getting a new release of the Barricade. So I am so pumped to see what Adidas has learned from all the years of the previous Barricades, as well as the last Last three years in the era of the Soul Court, the Soul Court Boost and Bounce, as well as the Uber Sonic lines. Let's get them on court, find out. So the torsion system on the barricade that you see on the bottom, it is unbelievable for lateral stability. These shoes are the most stable shoes I've played in this year. I know I've said that a bunch of a bunch of different shoes we tested. However, this being one of the last new shoes of this year, these definitely take the cake because that shank goes all the way up internally and externally. It feels like you have the bumper guards on when you're bowling. It's like the ball just can't go anywhere but straight. That's what it feels like. Your feet can only be neutral and centered and not roll one side or the other. It's a really, really comforting feeling on the court knowing you can just zigzag wherever you want to go. You know, just like pretty much every other barricade, there's just one part of them that just does not want to break in right away. And these ones, like I said in the teardown video, it's the ankle collar. And I have on really thick socks and it's still bothering me. It's about 35 minutes in still, so hopefully that breaks in by the end of this video. You know, the interesting thing is on the suicide test, I came in like 14.66 seconds and this shoe feels so solid going around the corners and I really feel like I can just throw my body and slide. However, going up and down, it's not as aerodynamic and fast. So this shoe really does its best when going side to side and moving diagonally, not necessarily front to back. You know, it's so easy to tell why all these top Adidas professionals are immediately switching to the barricade versus their combination of sole court boost, sole match bounce, court jam bounce. And that's because the Adidas barricade allows you to play so low to the ground while having the feeling of airbags all the way around your foot. It's just, you always feel balanced on the court no matter what direction you're going in or even if you're on one foot or you have all your weight on one side or the other, your foot always feels like it has a great center of gravity under it. And I think that's really the rub with these shoes, balance. All right, so we're play testing these going on evening time. So it's not as warm. However, it is still hovering around 80 degrees Fahrenheit. However, I thought these shoes were gonna be heating up a ton because of the molded uppers. However, they are still pretty cool. Once you kind of look in there, there is some venting in there to kind of vent out some heat. Actually, it's doing pretty well because these are not heating up nearly as much as I thought they would. If you notice, it is super windy here right now. If you also can hear just the treads of the shoes just screeching against the ground, you're getting so much grip on this court, but it's not grip to where you're over sticking. And it's kind of like a conundrum because I'm really feeling like a great grab onto the court, but the shoe is letting up when I need to get moving again. So playing in the wind, especially your kind of unpredictable conditions, these are second to none. All right, it's been about an hour and five minutes. The ankle collar is just starting to break in a little bit. So about an hour for the width break in and we're still working on the ankle collar. You know, another real surprise about the barricades was on the serve test. I got an average of 29 centimeters, which in and of itself is pretty good, but I thought with the bounce foam, which feels super springy when you're playing, get a lot of bounce and reverb off of it, plus the torsion system in it, I thought I'd get a ton of spring back. However, it was just pretty average to above average. I think really that this system, the torsion system here, is more made for lateral stability and peace of mind when you're moving side to side not necessarily that violent first step which i thought these were going to give me you do move pretty quick they are a nimbler shoe but they're not the most explosive out there like i kind of thought they would be so i actually delayed the release of this performance review a few days just because i really wanted to gather my thoughts about this shoe especially in context of the uber sonic line the soul court line and the previous barricade line and just to kind of give you a comparison of them and a little bit of a head-to-head -head. i will say as the evening progressed as that play test progressed these elastic laces did kind of start annoying me because my foot started swelling because it was so humid out and i actually started to get a little bit of cramping now it did go away after a little while after sort of breaking the uppers in more however here's 
somebody with a really wide forefoot, or like a bunion or Taylor's bunion, uh, just be ready to either go up a half size or just be ready that your foot's gonna cramp a little while before you break in these molded uppers. And if you are somebody with a lot of deformity in your foot, just probably wanna look somewhere else. But the constant thought that was running through my head and I'm sure a lot of yours is just where do these fall in the line in comparison to the Ubersonic line as well as the Soul Court line? Now, I know it's kind of a cop out to say, but they do kind of fit the barricades right in the middle of these two shoes. They are much more nimble than the Soul Court boost. They're just lighter shoes and they're just a little bit more streamlined. They're also a little more maximalist than the Ubersonic. So it really feels like the barricade definitely sits on a similar chassis to the Ubersonic, except because of the lace line and the molded uppers, they just don't break in as quick as the Ubersonics. And of course, it's made of bounce foam instead of light strike. It's just gonna last you a lot longer versus something like light strike, which is gonna start bottoming out pretty quick. But if it's me and I had to pick one of these three shoes, Honestly, I'm still going with the Soul Court Boost personally, just because I feel like you get just as much stability in the Soul Court Boost, but the uppers are just a little bit more comfortable. The last of the shoe is just a little bit more forgiving. Now, if you're somebody with more of a medium to narrow foot, then you'll probably like the barricades a lot more because your foot won't be swimming in a shoe as wide and as straight as the Soul Court Boost is. But if it's me, I just kind of like the comfort characteristics of the Soul Court Boost versus all just the raw playability characteristics of the Barricade. And so if you're looking for a quick comparison of all three, the Soul Courts are like your monster trucks, the Barricades are like your street racer, and the Uber Sonics are kind of like your Formula One car. You're just gonna go really fast and brake quick. These are gonna look pretty cool and kind of be able to navigate a lot of different terrain and still go really fast. And the sole courts will basically allow you to trample anything in your path. And so the last but certainly not least question I get asked is, is this new barricade a true upgrade from their previous lines? And I think in a lot of ways, yes. And I think in some ways it's kind of just the standard same barricade. It's performance first and comfort second. But that being said, if you don't know what shoe to buy and you're buying a shoe sight unseen, you're asking somebody, someone like me, you know, what shoe would you recommend? recommend. I can always kind of reliably say you can't go wrong with the barricades because just about every player, every game style, and in this version, every court surface can find something that they like in this shoe. It's just an all around reliable player shoe. And I think that's what the barricade is in one word, the, almost the entire lineup of them. It's reliable. Because if there's one shoe that I could recommend sight unseen saying this will play pretty well in a match it'd be the barricade and this one's no different. But of course, if you want to take a dive into the fit, specs, and engineering of the barricade, and of course, tear down of the barricade, make sure you click into this video up above and subscribe down below. Respect your rubber and foam. I'll see you in that video. Yeah, for those of you that were wondering, it's black socks, red Crocs today. All right, see ya.